Hi, and welcome to this lesson on adding vectors that are at right angles to each other. To demonstrate how to add vectors that are at right angles, we'll use an example problem. And here it is. A student walks three kilometers east, then four kilometers north to get to a friend's house. What is the student's total displacement? Let's start by drawing arrows that represent each of the individual vectors that are coming together. I use a blue vector to represent 3.0 kilometers to the east. So I'll draw it to the right. I'll use a red vector that indicates the student's uh, vector when they walk four kilometers to the north. I'll label each of these. This is 4.0 kilometers, and this is 3.0 kilometers. Next, we need to make sure that we add these vectors together respecting the fact that they have a magnitude and a direction. So in this case, we use what's called a tip-to-tail method. We'll take one of the vectors, we'll slide this blue vector the three kilometers to the east, and we'll add it tip-to-tail to the red vector. So you can see that we have a point where the two vectors meet, and that's the, the term tip-to-tail comes from the fact that the tip of one vector is pointing or touching the tail of the other. We could similarly add these two vectors um, by uh, reversing the process and adding the red one and the blue one in this way. Again, we have added the two vectors tip to tail, and that's all right as well. Uh, what we don't want to do is start adding the vectors where the two tails match up or the two tips match up. So this, not good here, and this would not be a good addition of these two vectors. So if we put these two vectors this way, we should be okay to find out the resultant vector. And in the end, let's use a dotted line to represent the total displacement of the student from their own house right here. This will be their start location down here. This is their end location right here. Um, and the displacement would be simply from the very beginning to the very end, how far do they go and in which direction. Now that we have this triangle drawn, and it is a right angle triangle, we can use our different rules of trigonometry in order to solve for the unknown sides. In this case, let's start with the magnitude. I'm going to shrink down my diagram a little bit and move it over here, and I'll use Pythagorean theorem to figure out what is the magnitude, or the hypotenuse in this case, of the displacement vector. So over here, I can use Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, where a is one of our sides, we'll say it's the 4.0 kilometers. We need to square that, plus 3.0 kilometers squared is equal to c squared. So we do our math on our calculators and we solve for C and we find out C is 5.0 kilometers. So in terms of the length of our vector, it's 5.0 kilometers, and that's again what we call the magnitude. In order to fully express the displacement, we need to include the direction. And so we can see here that we have an angle measured between east and north, so it's somewhere between east and north, and we'll calculate our angle here. Probably the safest trig identity to use here is the tan. Remember, the tan of the angle is the opposite side over the adjacent. So we have our opposite side here, four kilometers, we have our adjacent side here, and we can proceed with our calculation of the angle. So the tan of the angle is equal to 4.0 kilometers, divided by 3.0 kilometers. And finding that on a calculator, we get an answer of 53 degrees. So, so our angle, I can write here, theta is equal to 53 degrees. So we have both our magnitude, 5.0 kilometers, we have our direction, which is 53 degrees, 
and we'll state our final answer right here as five decimal zero kilometers and it's 53 degrees and that 53 degrees in here is measured from east towards the north so we say that is north of east so there's our final answer for the displacement of the student after they walk three kilometers to the east four kilometers to the north